Education is an expression of our worldview. How we think education ought to be is based on what we think reality is. What do we think about values, about how we know, about what is true? These kinds of questions get answered philosophically but applied in education. Where else to begin in philosophy but with someone like Plato? He believed there was a realm of the forms and they were immutable and they were not physical, they were immaterial. And that is the highest ideal of knowledge, to reach and obtain knowledge of great ideas. So what might a classroom look like? Well, the teacher would be a person who obtains and possesses the great ideas and communicates those great ideas to his or her students. And that isn't the only way the ancients put together educational system. Aristotle thought differently about human nature. A teacher would be a disciplinarian who taught her students to function properly, to use the faculties of their mind in the way that they ought to be used. And the way she would do this is by teaching and training to use the faculties of their mind in the proper way, with logic, with perhaps mathematics, to help and aid the functioning of the human mind. In the modern era, Immanuel Kant had developed a theory of the mind according to which we don't actually know directly about the world. Instead, what we have is the way our mind puts the world together. Rather than looking at eternal truths or of proper functions of the mind, instead we should look at what works. Uh, John Dewey famously proposed that truth is not immutable or eternal, but instead truth is what works. Beliefs with the most benefit, if you like. And education in this era was dominated by problem solving. It'd be worth for a minute to look at the Reformation. The reformers took a great interest in education. In part, they were influenced by an idea that came from the Renaissance. Uh, the idea that one should return to the text. Uh, recall that the Aristotelian view had said that knowledge of God is the pinnacle of all thought. Well, for the reformers, knowledge of God is only possible because of the revelation God has given us in his scripture. Luther and the reformers were insistent that a Bible be placed in people's hands. And so education became vital. First and foremost, literacy. Uh, was vital to the reformers. So they planted schools all over Europe. And as they did so, they saw that uh, human beings flourish when they are given great deal of knowledge. Education for many of the reformers and the Puritans especially was part of our sanctification. But God uses education to make us holy. What he does in the classroom is often about reforming our minds uh, from their sinful ways, rebuilding the broken ruins. I like to see education as Christ's project in the church. He's doing a number of things in both the teacher and the student.